Today we're basically going to be talking about something that might be a little bit controversial for some. How's it going everyone? This is Kevin. Today I want to bring along with me to talk about why I think aperture priority isn't as bad as it seems. So let's jump right into it. I see a lot of videos on social media that talk about you have to be a photographer only if you shoot in manual mode, but I'm here to tell you something different. When it comes down to photography, to me, there's not a right or wrong way when it comes down to your final product as long as you're happy. A lot of people tend to kind of complain that some people aren't true photographers because they shoot in aperture priority or they don't know how to shoot manual mode, so they're not a true photographer. For me, I think it just comes down to the person and the final outcome, no matter how you get there. I remember when I was shooting and getting into photography, I was dabbling as much as I could with just learning my settings. And I kept hearing that to become a true photographer, you had to learn to shoot manually. They said that that's what makes a photographer a true photographer, that you have to learn the ins and outs of shooting manual mode because that's the way to become the best that you can. And to a certain degree, I do believe that you should know how to shoot manual mode because it's good for you, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to only shoot manual mode to become a true photographer. I do necessarily kind of think that you can get away with just shooting aperture priority, and I'm gonna explain why. Cameras of today honestly have so much technology improvements that in reality you can kind of get by with just using the more, I guess, automatic motions that they can provide if you really need it to be. The improvements of the hardware, the sensors, and everything in between with these cameras, it just really makes it a lot easier to just let the camera do what it needs to do. Hence, look at autofocus. A lot of people used to have to shoot manual focus, but the improvements of autofocus and everything for cameras has improved so drastically that you can let it do its job how it needs to and you'll be fine. So that helps you basically concentrate of just creating the perfect composition and everything that you need to and letting the camera do what it needs to do. This, like before, you weren't able to do such smooth low light capabilities of photos. Now like how you can do with the raw photos that you can with these cameras, as well with higher ISO still being manageable and usable when it comes down to professional settings. So something that you can consider when shooting an aperture priority, when you're setting up your camera to just have whether exposure compensation in the positives or the negatives because you can still retain a lot of information in the highlights and shadows which is really nice when it comes down to modern cameras here i'm just taking a couple photos with the aperture priority mode to showcase how much you can really do with this setup you don't always necessarily have to rely on manual mode unless you really have to get the settings a certain way to capture the photo that you want to in camera but the awesome thing about these cameras nowadays is just they're so good for what they have with the ISO and everything capabilities for low light that you can retain a lot of information with the raw photos and you'll be fine shooting aperture priority mode when needed. I've also noticed that ever since shooting an aperture priority when it comes down to that I need to, it really allows me to focus myself just more on the composition and the surroundings to make sure that I can pay attention to little details that I know can help the photo stand out more rather than always focusing on the settings. I have full confidence in my camera with the choice of ISO and the shutter speed because of the way that I've set it up for myself that I think it helps me to make sure that I have better focus on my composition and just the end result overall. So there is a basic hack that I do that it's not really a hack but it's just what you can do yourself. It's just basically going into your, um, in your camera settings and you're setting up your minimum ISO range and limit so that you can have make the, the security of not overshooting in the ISO if you don't want to go above a certain amount because you know your camera can't handle it as well as adding minimal shutter speed so that you're always wanting to have if you wanting to keep it at 250 it can be the lowest it'll go to 250 and then it'll just start pushing the ISO but that's something that's very good with these cameras is just the ISO itself hasn't been as bad and with a lot of post-production you can save a lot of photo images now that allow you to create the content without focusing too much on manual modes or anything like that too. The cool thing is you can manipulate your photos a lot now with a lot of the software so it doesn't matter so much when it comes down to how you get into your final destination because at the end of the day when it comes down to your photography it's not so much the journey it's about the end product and your final destination people won't care how you got there as long as your product is what you want it to be and you're happy with it most people won't know if you really took a photo in manual mode or aperture mode so that's something that you want to just consider when it comes down to your final photos because at the end of the day they're simply looking at the final product every time that you post it not really how you took the photo itself 
You might show them the behind the scenes when it comes down to your photography, but not necessarily they're all going to be seeing that. They're just going to be seeing your final photo regardless of that anyway, depending on what type of photos you're taking. So use it to your advantage to not feel discouraged when it comes down to shooting an aperture priority because at the end of the day, to me, as long as you're out there creating and having fun, it's what matters the most when it comes down to photography and videography. Create however makes you happy to be out there taking the photos that you want to because at the end of the day, that's something that's going to be very beneficial when it comes down to becoming more creative with your work and just making sure that you're practicing everything that you need to to become a better photographer overall. That's simply my input when it comes down to shooting pri aperture priority. Since I've noticed that a lot of people on social media tend to call out other people the way that they create their photos, but at the end of the day for me it's just whatever makes you happy to go out create the most content that you can and you're staying consistent with it, that's all that matters whether it's aperture priority manual mode or any other settings that you might have learned as long as it has a happy ending with your final result that's all that matters but with all that said and done guys thank you so much for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe to this video friend i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya